Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to use laser guided weapons, uh, GPS guided weapons, and the anti radiation missile. For most of these, you're going to need the targeting pod. I've set up a few targets around the KSC, but I'm going to leave guard mode off so I can just show you how to use uh, the targeting system without getting fired at. The targeting pod is the main tool you want to use for finding and acquiring ground targets. So let's open it up by going to the modules tab and clicking on oh, not that, the targeting pod. You can also scale up the window and turn on NV to, have to see targets better. So you can slew the camera around by using these arrow keys or buttons, but you can also set up keys in the key binding page in the settings, which again is Alt B or this settings button on the weapon manager. So if I slew to the general area of the KSC and hit lock, you'll see that it's stabilized with the ground. So now I can zoom in and try to find a target. Alright, here's a missile site, so let's put the cursor over that, and first I'll show you laser guided. So you can see there's a circle there that's showing where the camera is pointing, or where the laser dot is, and with the laser weapon selected, I just have to aim towards it until I get a circle here that indicates a lock, fire. This bar here shows you um, the DLZ or the dynamic launch zone. It changes depending on how fast you're going or how far the target is but basically you just want to fire w when it's within these lines and that's a good hit. For GPS weapons you're gonna have to find a target. Uh, let's target this building over here. Oops, turn towards it a little bit and then send or click send GPS and that will send it over to this list here let me clear this out so I can show you again it will bring it up here and then you can name it so let's call this the I'll just call it building and then click on this to, to set that as the target you can see now that it has a cross here over it if you move the cursor you can always go back to the selected GPS target by clicking 2 GPS here. So now with the JDAM selected, I'll just fly over it and when it's about in the middle of the circle, just drop it. Hit. At first it just seems like an extra step to do, but this list is persistent and it's shared among all of the teammates. So if one person on team A, say you fly uh, a spy mission over a target area and you designate a whole bunch of targets, then you can send out another mission to attack and then just keep going down the list of targets and taking things out. The anti-radiation missile works a little bit different and doesn't actually use the targeting pod. What you want to use is the radar warning receiver which shows you different radars that are detecting you. So I see a, I see a radar signal here, I just turn towards it and it's locked up. I might have accidentally locked that one over there. That's basically it. You just have to get detected by a radar and then put it in the field of view of the missile and then launch. And that's the basics of air to ground missile attacks. Now let's see if I can do this with guard mode enabled. So this won't be too hard since they only have one locking radar and I just have to take that out first by using the, the anti-radiation missile. 
So I'm just gonna get a good view here first. And it looks like they locked me on, so I get the harm out. Fired at the locking radar. Pop some chaff. Try to avoid these missiles. And it looks like I got a good hit. Let's confirm. Looks like it's down. So now I can come back and start picking out other targets. Might as well set a GPS point here while I'm at it. Let's mark this guy. And mark the detector. Alright, so now I got these three targets here. I'm just gonna try to do get them all in one pass with the with the three J dames. That guy's gone. And that guy's gone. 